Hmm, welcome back everybody to RimWorld. I was about to say, today's episode needs to go pretty well, because I've just come from the world's most frustrating CK2 episode, and then I'm immediately greeted with this. Uh, spot the issue. That's right. Uh, this isn't me pausing the game. It's just, it's just doing it to itself. See, now, it should only auto-pause when there is, um... When there's a life-threatening issue, so say, for example, one of our colonists being down and dying, or say, for example, when we're under attack from something, uh, as far as I can tell, that's not the case. None of our people are under attack. Is it because our animal is starving? No way. Um, well, something's causing it. I'm just going to brute force this through. I'm just going to sit here holding the speed button until hopefully it sorts itself out. We're not under attack from, like, a wild animal somewhere, are we? Oh! No, uh, is that my wild boar? That's not my wild boar. Um, I have absolutely no idea. Well, great. Okay, anyway, welcome, welcome to the remote, everyone. Um, thank you for the feedback on yesterday's episode, by the way. So, in response to some of the feedback on yesterday's episode, I have gone ahead and adjusted the storytellers again. So, obviously, we started with Randy Random, but I, I didn't find that difficult enough to really warrant keep playing with it, because he was not doing anything to threaten us besides sending us weird animals. We swapped over to Hildegard, but the issue with Hildegard is A, she removes most of the trade ships, or more specifically, doesn't send many trade ships to your base. And secondly, as people have pointed out, that we haven't got any sicknesses. Um, I think the last one we got was was gut worms, which at this stage of the game, given the amount of wealth we've got, given the hospital we've got, those really don't affect us at all. So I've decided just to stick to the old classic, and I've gone back to Cassandra Classic on Merciless. Now, I actually did this at the start of yesterday's episode, but forgot to mention it. So... Fingers crossed, it, everything, bear in mind everything in the base game is balanced. We're obviously one of the three base game storytellers, and mods are also going to be based around those as well. So in theory, this should now give us the full experience. I'm probably not going to, I'll be honest, in future series, I'm very tempted just to stick with Cassandra for everything. Um, mainly because it, it just always feels for me personally the right difficulty level for RimWorld. After a little bit of tech wizardry, I think I managed to fix what was causing the issue. Ah, oh, Space for Electronics is done, nice. So we are expecting, in theory now some actual steel to be delivered mad i know in 1.8 days now that i've obviously removed the, the the bees mod in theory we should only be getting things that you can mine rather than mine from bees uh it still says that the estimated profit is only 197 silver is that to do with the fact that the event is still going oh my god is the event retroactive that would suck i assumed it would only be during the bill duration but i guess it affects it until the next bill is processed and then they should go back to the way they were before. So obviously it's still affected um, that event fired that lowers the base level of the um, of the quarry production. Hang on. 0 0.5 times 1.8. Well, it, surely it'd be better not to have anybody working then. Uh, I mean, that is quite literally the case right now. Um, it's more profitable. You know what? Just leave it going. I don't want to mess with anything in case that's not ca the case at all. Uh, maybe when the bill is calculated... Uh, or maybe the profit is calculated on the next bill. I'm not entirely sure. Let's not worry about it. It's a little bit of silver. And we've got a mountain of silver right now. The one thing I'm also doing is keeping a close eye on when we can limit the fuel to ensure that the radius isn't interfering with anyone's life. So right now, if whoever had this bedroom went to have a bath, they'd also get a nice dose of radiation. So what I'm going to keep an eye on is, is uh, we've got it currently set to target fuel level 75. Hopefully by the time before then, before it drops to the 75, this will have recessed to the point we can work out where we need to set the fuel level. So say, for example, uh, the radius gets to the edge of this room and it's at 82, that will be our new fuel level. Actually, we'll set it to 80 just in case they overload it like they did last time and start causing radiation. Um, and that will still give us a decent amount of power. Like, we've dropped by 10 points and we've still got, like, 19,000 watts coming in there with 10 less fuel than maximum. So it seems like it's still going to give a really, really good power output. I'm just kind of hoping it would drop a bit faster than this, to be honest with you. Then we can open this bedroom back up again. There was also a comment on yesterday's episode as well that I want to address very quickly, just because um, I've seen a lot of people talk about it. Now, I should point out, it is a sensible idea. And in theory, I fully agree with you. But also, the idea of having a mountain of blizzard risks is just more appealing to me. And that was to use the manager mod to limit the amount of blizzards we have. So we, we've done this before for the dinosaur series. Uh, but basically, you can set the amount of life stock to keep at any one time. So we can say, only keep 30 blizzards, kill the rest. But also, we could keep 30 blizzards, or we could have 400 blizzards. Um, I mean, obviously, the game would be get really laggy at that stage. 
it's not really an issue with feeding them. To be honest, they don't eat very much. They've still got 281 kibble just sort of lying around there. They've also got a body which they're not eating. Apparently, they don't eat raw corpses. Um, really, it's a butcher them. Have we got anyone who's a psychopath? Because we could put down, uh, or is it bloodlust or something like that? We could put down a butcher table in here just to butcher within a radius for human meat. So have the hauling bots haul the bodies into here and then have them just butcher it and drop it straight on the floor for the spiders. I don't know why they won't eat that. Do they not eat corpses? Raw meat corpses. They do eat corpses, but apparently not human corpses. An actual raid. Oh my god, it's massive. Holy fuck, that's a lot of orcs. I mean, it's, don't get me wrong, it's nice and refreshing to actually have enemies to fight, but my god, I was not expecting that. They're not using sappers, are they? They're preparing for a while and then attack multiple angles. Uh, what, one? Oh my god, there's... Uh, you're fucking kidding me. 66 orcs there and then another 58 orcs. That's a lot of fucking orcs. Um, Delta, what's it? Please mind the mortars and kill these goddamn orcs because that is absurd. How do we want to do this? Do we want to aim all of our shells on one group of orc and try and increase the chance of hitting as many possible? Or do we want to... Uh, do we want to try and pick an equal number out from each raid? Um, I think we probably just want to go butt wild on one particular group of orc. Good luck. This is horrible. This is absolutely fucking horrible. Go, fire. Show me what you can do. Oh my god, it's on such a long cooldown. That one's, that one's going. This one's in eight seconds. I kind of wanted to see them fire in sync, but that'll do. Come on. Okay. That's an all right start. Critical alert. Enemy needs rescue. Oh, I don't think they do. I don't I don't think they do at all. And then we'll get everyone else drafted up when everyone, uh, when these orcs actually start coming over. Oh, bad shot again. Come on, people. Um, let's let them keep picking apart this group. As far as I'm concerned, it'd be better to fight. No, it wouldn't. It wouldn't be at all, though, would it? It'd be better to fight two smaller groups than one massive group. Let's try and just pick them apart bit by bit. We got anyone else good at researching as well? Uh, Sir gets knocked out a lot. Get on the guns here, friend. We're not going to be able to get through all of these shells, I don't think, before the raid starts. We've got eight more shells to get through, and they're both loaded. So we might as well get Sir gets out, knocked out a lot down here as well as try and help out with the, with the fire. Ooh, that was good. Wow. Okay, that was a great shot. That's not bad. 50. Oh, now we've only got, um, <laughs> now we've only got like 118 orcs left to fight. Good. Yeah, this is fine. Get on here. Stop forced attack. Just kill whatever you want. Kill whatever you want. It's, it's open season. Oh, they're beginning. Okay. Um, I don't think we're going to have much chance to fire anything else off, but we might as well draft up now if you don't mind, team. Yikes. Uh, let's also get our robots to stand down. Uh, where, where have I put the robots these days? Where are they all? There they are. Um, go ahead and recall all robots. This is going to be tricky. How many did we end up killing? Oh, we killed quite a lot, though. We, we actually genuinely did kill quite a lot. We maimed a lot as well. Um, what about these guys? How many of those ones did we pick off? Only four from that section. Good God, this is going to be hell. This is, this is orc hell. Look at it. This is a staggeringly large raid. Maybe I made a mistake going to Cassandra. Just a few things to bear in mind. Number one, they're all naked. Number two, they've all got, well, they're mostly naked. Some have plate armor and whatnot. Uh, but number two is they're using very, very primitive weapons. Clubs, uh, bows and arrows. Some occasionally have battle axes and plate armor. But besides that, that's that's really it. Uh, loathing, loathing. I fucking hate the fact that you refuse to use that goddamn gun. Matt Vey. Matt Vey, you idiot. Um, here's what I'm also going to do. I'm going to put the animals on emergency mode. Um, actually, more specifically, I'm just going to stop the... <laughs> I'm going to stop our ground runners going out there. I appreciate you fucking up the order of my animals again. Um, I stop the ground runners going out there because they always do shit like this and screw us over. Right, Matt Bay, turn around. Matt Bay. Matt Bay, where are you going? Oh, God, shut the door. Okay, that's fine. That's acceptable. Good luck, team. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move a couple more people from this side down into... Down into here to come and help lay down some fire. We could always move them back around when the time calls for it. Let's do that. Let's get as many people down here as possible just to come and help lay down some initial fire. More we can cut off down here, less we have to worry about up here as far as I'm concerned. Right, spread out. Good luck, team. What a fucking mess. What an absolute mess. <laughs> We've done a good amount of damage already, but it's actually a little bit disappointing. To say that these are naked, I guess that the orcs have much higher pain resistance or something like that. Because these guys are just shrugging it off. If we can block them up like this, though, that would work. Because none of these melee characters can do anything besides wait for the guys down there to move a little bit further. If we can do this, this is fantastic. 
They're just queuing up to die. And then these guys are obviously going to get annihilated in no time at all. And good luck getting past fucking Sharamus. He's an orc as well, but he's got power armor, shield, and weapons. This is what you could be. They are actually all just queuing up to die now. This is hilarious. Um, I actually feel bad for them in a weird way. Okay. Uh, well, here's what we'll do then. Line up. Lay down some firepower as well. Last thing we want is is too many of the melee characters. Oh, sorry. The ranged characters queuing up here and actually doing damage to our boys. Okay. And how do the turrets work? Oh, they count as... They all count as dazzled. Look at that. That's really interesting. I figured it would just be the one that the turret was aiming at, but it seems that everything in the radius here, yeah, everything in the radius of that light counts as dazzled. Please be careful with that plasma gun. Okay, you guys are going on friendly fire. That's unreal. You can't be trusted. Get out of here with that shit. Did they hit Edward Crosby? Oh, we got hit by the throwing knives. This is where a nicely placed grenade would really be a game changer, wouldn't it? Maybe we should uh, have some sidearms. Wow, the game just hates me right now. I've never seen the game run this slowly. This might be time for a time lapse. What do you think? Because I don't know if I can sit here and commentate on a lot of orcs just queuing up to die. <laughs> Oh, they actually managed to knock down one of our people. So, got... Okay, that's pretty appropriate, you've got to admit. Um, Stab by Rico, bow in his leg. Wow, they actually did knock him down. Rose, where are you? Um, Dr. Rose to the infirmary, please? There she is. Okay, uh, go ahead and rescue him. We'll just put her on medical duty, seeing as this is a complete mess. Pain's down. You rescue pain. What's it? Move up. Yikes, they, they are doing a lot of damage. Probably doesn't help that we've got our people packed in quite as close as we have right now, but... Oh, look, the Orcs are actually making some progress around there. Oh, we might actually see um, Beta Squad do some damage here. Or not. Or they've turned around again. Oh, God, this is a... I've never seen the game. I've genuinely... We've never built a killbox that's quite lagged the game this badly before. Even with the robots with wave-based survival, it never quite got this bad. Oh, it's, it's cleared up. Whatever was wrong, it seems to have woken up. Well, that's great news. Okay, right. We can actually make some progress now, then. How are we looking? Top squad, you, ha you have a job to do here. You guys are supposed to be the most accurate squad, and you fuck this up royally. What's it, what's it up? What's it feels like dinner instead? You put a lot of pressure on Sh Sharamus. You're basically asking Sharamus to hold this entire tide of orcs. Now we'll see. Huh. Oh, my God. She had so much going for her. How did she die? A cut. She was shot in the torso by a crossbow bolt. Wow. And that's where she died as well. That's really tragic. That's actually insanely unlucky. Um, pff, holy fuck. Wow. I don't even know what to say, really. Um, Robes, you were brought back to ten to these people. Fucking do your job. This is going to be tricky. I, I don't know if, if this is going to be quite as smooth as I thought. It all relies on, on Stone Skin's Sharamus to hold the line, really. He's doing a pretty good job, to be fair. There's a nice orc pile there below him. It's these guys getting absolutely picked up. I wasn't expecting it. Um, fear, rescue, quarantine. Rose, you are in permanent doctor in duty. Um, oh, loathing's down now. This is a mess. This, I wish we had some sort of grenades. Because, my God, I was not anticipating this. I might even retreat our people out and fight them in the next uh, in the next arena instead. We're getting ripped apart there. Get out, get out, get out. Go, go, go. Right, bait them across into this area. Oh, half the orcs are fleeing. <gasps> half the orcs are fleeing. Okay, that's great. That's great. That's great. More to the point, we've already started on our tending. Is loading okay? Bling out 19 hours. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Okay, bear in mind that's only... I mean, there's still probably another 50 orcs coming towards us, so don't get comfortable quite yet. How is, um, how are the, how's, how are the, the people doing? Gets knocked out a lot. Rose, I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna sack you. You have one job, and that's ten to these people. And you've done nothing of the sort. Clearly the, um, I, I feel like clearly the slowdown is coming from the, um, the chunks in the second layer of the kill box. They are just not good at navigating that. This should now be very, very easy. We've got orcs coming in one at a time. We've got Sharamus on guard still. Granted, we, we got a few people not down there. But if at the end of the day, if in a raid of 100 and whatever it was, 120 orcs, the only downside to that is 
bigger stickers dies and three of our people go down, that's not a problem. To be honest, I wasn't expecting much from bigger stickers, given that bigger stickers was... Was obviously unarmored. It's a little bit upsetting that we lost her Bionic Eyes Psychic Amplifier. Two Bionic Eyes, actually. Um, uh, Death Acidifier, but obviously I wasn't just going to take them out. We could have implanted some Mutant Eyes, but those are also kind of valuable. That's a shame. That is that is a big loss to the colony. She, she had a lot of potential there. Um, pain Rescue Loathing. Uh, fear, get on the front lines. You've not been injured. Oh, they're flaying. They're all flaying. Good shit, good shit, good shit. Um, get out of there. Everyone, everyone, go and go and get yourself healed up, rested up, whatever it is you've got to do. Wow, that was um, a complete mess. Sharamus, though, held the line, and my god, did he hold it! Let's get the robots going, and uh, let's see. I I'm gonna have to go through now all of these downed orcs and see if any of them are worth rescuing. Um, this could take a while. Bear with me. Oh, thank you, Pork. By the way, Pork, be more like Pork. Why can Rose not be useful like Pork? The man stayed up all night. On the front lines, I should point out, gunning down orc after orc, his own people. And then you know what he does? He doesn't go and eat a meal. He doesn't go and drink food. He immediately starts work on the surgical instruments to make sure our people live longer. Be more like pork. That's coming on a shirt. That's the first official channel shirt right there. How are we looking? Pierre's bleeding out in 22 hours. Um, gets knocked out a lot. It's fine. Everyone looks like they're going to be okay. Quarantine's getting, obviously, the, the high-quality treatment here. Because of the pharmacist mob, we are using glitter tech medicine on them because they do have life-threatening injuries. And now I assume we're stripping all these orcs. Oh, God. I did go through them very briefly, but to be honest, none of them are already worth picking up. Um, so they, there's not really any gap in our skill set we're missing right now. I would rather focus our efforts for the time being on making our people the best they possibly can be before we recruit more people. We don't have enough armor for everybody as it is. We barely have enough food for everyone as it is. Ignore the freezer. We just got, obviously, our couple of uh, man hunting packs. Besides that, we'd have 1,000 corn or 1,600 corn. That's not going to be enough to feed 16 people through an upcoming winter. That's absolutely ludicrous. Thank you. On the plus side, though, our spiders are going to eat well. Um, oh, that's what we could do with it. If any of these guys are a psychopath or whatever it is that allows you to butcher without them being bothered by it, that would be ideal. Um... Psychopath, psychopath, sanguine is pretty nice. Uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of okay ones, but none that are worth bringing into the colony and putting more of a burden on it. Careful shooter, masochist. No, no, no. I need a psychopath. You don't understand. Um, Narzog the Prime. That's pretty cool. Careful shooter. Uh, a sexual ugly. This could take a while. Oh my god, this is this is insane. It's tortured artist that industrious misogynist sanguine. Industrious sanguine is a fantastic combo. Do we really need another cook? Especially when we've already got too many of our own people to tend to. <gasps> Rob the gargantuan. Psychopath. Um does it matter if others are butchered? Okay. We have found our man. Rob the gargantuan. Who's nearby that can pick him up? Uh nobody. Sharamus, congratulations, you've volunteered. Rob the Gargantuan. That's him, right? Capture him. That could be our... I'm going to have him. We're going to recruit him. We're going to have him butcher all of these... All of his orc friends to feed our spiders. This is pretty great. Our people are all tended as well now. They all look fine. Okay, good stuff. Nothing to worry about then. Uh, that was that was a little bit tricky there for a second. Obviously, we lost bigger stickers. That is a big shame, I will admit. Because she had a lot of good implants. It, it was a real shame to lose her that early on as well before we could really find much to do with her. But... Simultaneously, she wasn't really doing a lot for the colony. So it could have been a lot worse. Obviously, Delta, Upsa, Rose, any of them would have been catastrophic. That was probably the best of a bad situation. Um, I am going to build her, though. Don't, don't, don't get me wrong. It's a loss that I intend on honoring. Not with 600 fucking gold, I don't. With, in fact, the silver sarcophagus of dreams. We should build a tomb. And, in fact, you know what? We could build the tomb. We could build the tomb back here. I think we finally found something we can do with... The last of this area. That's quite a good idea. All right, let's let's do it. Let's get ourselves a tomb. I'm gonna preemptively move Rose down to immediately start tending to this Rob guy as well because this is just a massive opportunity they've given us to feed and honestly to carry on with the with the Blizzardisk project. So all of those guys will be dumped in here. I don't know if the Blizzardisk will even eat the. Maybe they'll eat raw orcs and just not raw humans. Uh, so Rob is at risk of dying. Rose has just turned up. That time he could have been any more perfect. No, no, no. I think you're misunderstanding here. He just gets doctor care. He just gets... No, no, no. Don't tend to... No, no, no. <laughs> not a lavish meal, Rose. I know I clicked it. I know I clicked it. But I wish I wish they had a little bit of common sense here. Um, right. How's he looking? 
He's got a bad back, which we can replace. We have spare backs. Don't ask where we got them from. I'm really hoping Watts it will chill out soon after he's done picking out because he seriously needs medical treatment. Not that I'm worried about him bleeding out in the 16 hours it's going to take him to break from this, but just because of the infection, it's cut off. Uh, left, fourth, left fourth toe cut off entirely, so that doesn't stand a chance of obviously uh, uh, obviously curing itself or anything like, like a minor cut would. This guy has to get to bed soon. Death in 15 hours. Come on, what's it? Um, what about, who's our who's our warden, right? We can have them talk to him. Loathing. Loathing. Talk to what's it. Calm him. Snap him out of it. That's his grandfather, right? Loathing, go speak to your grandfather. Please, granddad, just go to bed, please. The nurses say you're unwell. He said, no, I'm fine. We had worse than this in the war. Just wandering around with half his foot mangled. What's it? You're making this very difficult. Loathing can barely walk himself. Where's he go? Is he actually going to go and eat the prisoner's food? <gasps> Halitos. Halitos? What? Oh! Tended to Edward Crosby. Okay, to be fair, she's tending to someone. So that's fine. I genuinely thought she wasn't tending to anybody then. That was going to get right on my nerves. Taxes have been built. Good shit. Uh, we, we took a lot more damage than I expected then. So Helotos has, okay, an infection that's probably curable. Um, why are you not in the hospital is my real question. You can rest, you weirdo. I need to increase bed rest, actually. We haven't had so many incidents in so long. I dropped bed rest down so they weren't worried about minor things. They're being bitten while fishing or some crap. Nope, loathing failed. Good work. Incredible. Just, just 10 out of 10. I'm glad you chased him across half the base. Oh, he's fine. Wandering. No, no, no. Don't wander. Rest. Reserved by loathing. Reserved by quarantine. You guys can fuck off. Oh my god. This is... This is hell. I love it. Okay. Um, yeah, that's a perfect place. Where's the best place, in your opinion, for a drink of water? Sat at our futuristic kitchen tables with built-in monitors. Do we perhaps take a drink on our balcony overlooking our, our bridge, overlooking the water? No. We'll eat it in a, in a room that is stuffed to the bursting point with dead orcs and giant fucking spiders. And then he's going to complain about it. D did I see that properly? Uh, observe Rotten Corpse. You have yourself to blame. You didn't have to walk to the back of that freezer to drink your water, you weird man. 100% tank quality. Did you use the glitter tech medicine for that? You better not have. Um, Life-threatening wounds or surgery... A potentially fatal diseases. I guess that's an infection then. Cancer potentially fatal disease. Does that mean that they used... I don't think we have any regular medicine. I think we only have either herbal or... Oh, no, we do have regular medicine. Okay, well, that's far enough then. That, that's, that's possible that Rose did use... Oh, it's, it's right there, genius. Okay. And then, of course, they've got the... I mean, this is one of the best beds we could build. The only thing we're missing is the advanced vitals monitor, which we can't build, because <laughs> we don't have any steel. Speaking of which, though, we did just get our taxes built. Um, no, they are still in debt, and I don't understand why. Is that permanent? Is that a permanent thing now? Oh. Uh. It certainly seems to be a permanent thing. Yeah, we, we can't make any more profit from that. Oh, fuck. Uh. Well, that's fucked things up a little bit, hasn't it? Um. We might as well resolve the bills from there and there. I mean, these places we might as well shut down. I don't think they even paid back for the profit that we set building them together, did we? Uh, unless we. I mean, it might be profitable to sink them into what? Animals, perhaps? Ugh. Well, the, the profit from these places has been severely reduced in that case. Damn, that sucks. Um, yeah, I, I, I guess now they permanently can't produce... I mean, it did say empty mines. It's not as if they're going to grow more ore, is it? I guess that is just a random thing that can happen. Well, that does suck a little bit, but... Oh, yeah, I guess we have to resolve it, don't we, if we plan on keeping them. Um, yeah, it's genuinely a little bit of a shame. Seems, it seems like a weird mechanic, especially because there's no way to remove buildings, as far as I know, in colonies as well. So what, we just have a permanent quarry there now that we can't... Oh, we can build something over it. Oh, that's okay then. Right, that's not too bad. Um, right, so which, which are the places we need to adjust? So, oh, you're tithing though, to be fair. Oh, but you're tithing nothing. 0 0.5. Of course, our tithe one would be the one that would... Yeah, look. It's, it... Ugh, that's not worth it. Get rid of it. Um, okay then. So we'll swap you over to... What's your second most profitable thing here? I guess more animals. Oh my god, are we going to be a bloody animal... I mean, the profit isn't bad, but obviously I don't want to tithe animals ever. I obviously wanted to make it into it. It's a wilderness guild for my animal production. Cool. Okay, wilderness guild then. 
That's a little annoying, I will admit. That is, that is quite annoying, but that's okay. In fact, if it wasn't for the quarry, there would be no base value at all. Um, I get it, though. I get that it's a central part of the difficulty because the quarries were ridiculously profitable. Although the animals here are pretty fucking profitable as well. Jesus. Um, I, yeah, I, I, I get it. I understand exactly why why they've done that the way they have. Uh, so, in that case, then, so we, we've no longer got um, any quarriers there. The base value for that one is... Oh, that's the one in the forest, though, isn't it? That's the one we're getting animals from anyway. Um, where's the other one? Have we got any other quarries with that are empty? So that's an empty quarry. Nothing there. But we do need to build the animal building here. Got it. So another wilderness guild there. Oh, we don't have silver now, apparently. Uh, no, we don't. Okay. Well, look, we're still making some profit. And I don't know how animals would ever permanently disappear. So maybe maybe our, our profits have been cut down a bit but we got the quarries while they lasted and that's the important thing so let's look at the bonuses here then um firstly we defeated 120 orcs which was pretty cool um obviously we didn't kill them all but we did defeat them we traded that for bigger stickers and i mean helatos potentially but has a has a great healing and in a fantastic hospital with a great doctor um so you should be fine Pain is also injured. Rose, if I find you haven't tended another person, I'm actually going to shit myself. Um, no. We're good. Okay. You come to the hospital now and get tended down here. Besides that, though, I mean, Pierre is fine. Uh, and then so gets knocked out a lot is fine. I will go through and make sure nobody lost any limbs. But if they have lost the limbs, we've got two spare eyes, we've got a spare leg and two spare arms. So... In that situation, we should be able to repair some of the damage as well. Oh, and of course, we got the stuff that we ripped out of. I mean was gracefully donated to us by that other lady, whatever her name was, who disappeared now. Uh, and then, of course, as well, the, the moods are going to fade away soon. The um, Someone was organ murdered. There's only 2.5 days left on it. And then we're back in paradise. So a couple of days of regular old doing Rimworld stuff later. Obviously, we st <laughs> still got no fucking steel. Uh, Helotos' infection is at 98% immunity with a 45% infection spread thanks to the IV drip and everything else. Uh, pain for a little while was looking a little touch and go, so I upped the medicine usage. Now we're up to 54% and 72% on the immunity gain, so it's more than okay now. Still have absolutely no steel, so one thing I've done is I've set fear to, uh, th their top job is scanning. And only scanning. So they're just gonna sit there on the scanner for ages. It's either that or we start, um... We start strip mining again, and I'm not comfortable strip mining because either A, we might find a shortcut to the edge of the map, which will allow more enemies to spawn in, or B, we run at the risk of getting even more insect infestations now that we've dealt with our first lot of infestations. I would rather not leave ourselves to that vulnerability again. It's a little annoying, because we've also got no trade ships either. Oh my god, there's our water, our water tower is actually filling up. More importantly, um, we filled up now that we've got uh, 17 people. We filled up... Oh, bigger stickers still needs burying. Whoops, my bad. We filled up enough of uh, the wooden septic tank to be able to drain it and fill up more biosolids composters, which means we can restock our... You can see uh, roughly from the textures there that the other biosolids we put down have all disappeared at this stage. But even then, we're at like... What is that? 200 and... Excuse me. Piss off. We're at 231% fertility on the soil, so that's... Uh, that's pretty fantastic. I am almost getting to the stage now where I think we could probably cut down on the corn, although I say that. What, what did we have last time I checked? We had like 1,600 corn last time I checked, didn't we? We've only got 1,024. How have we ended up with less corn now? This doesn't make sense. Look at all these fucking blizzards. So we have finished uh, the wooden butcher table there. I've suspended the bill, but I set it up to butcher orcs. Obviously, any human-like. I need to make sure that um, Bigger's Dickers is buried soon, actually. Are we ready to put down... I mean, it's far from finished, but the, the point is we've got the column there, so we should be able to remove the roof on this now and hopefully start putting down some sarcophagus in here. What silver have we got? 850, that's not right. Where's the... Oh, they just haven't hauled the new stuff yet. Let's get that into the stockpile, and then we'll focus on upgrading our settlements then for the, for the new, because there's still a couple there that's still using the quarries. We need to obviously change the new configuration. Which one was it? Uh, you've got Wilderness Guild, Migrant Housing. Okay, this one's missing two slots, so we'll go ahead and change that. This one's missing a slot, so we could build another, say, warehouse that gives us another 5% tax. Not worth it, but it's not too bad. Um, you're fine. Yeah, the quarry is just a complete waste of time, so we might as well swap that one out for our 25% bonus. Uh, adventurer. Nope. Uh, we want the wilderness guild. That was it. There we are. Okay. Nice work. Uh, it, again, it's it's nowhere near as, as much profit as we were making from the last one, but bear in mind, all of those cumulative profit is ridiculous. I mean, how much are we making every... We're when that's built, we'll be close to making 10k again every every five days. 
We could even start upgrading the base level of the colonies themselves. There was actually a comment on yesterday's episode that said to do that. And I agree. I, th I think it's about time we start upgrading the base level. So, like, we upgraded Lobo from Settlement to Ham Hamlet. Obviously, we can upgrade that to Town Cities, whatever, whatever. So, we'll, um, we'll probably focus on that. Seeing as we've <laughs> got no fucking trade ships. Not that I'm bitter about the complete lack of resources this time around, but there's so much cool stuff we can build and we just can't do it because the game's fucked us with silver. I am almost tempted to go ahead and download that mod that I um, talked about briefly a while ago, but never actually got around to playing with. And that was the mod that um, added the extra levels to the map so you could do a deep drill and drill down to a whole new map layer, which I thought would be really cool to check out. So I, I actually might add that. Um, mainly because it would be a cool mod, but also it gives us a way, even though it would be a lot more work for our people, would give us a way to gain resources, rather than just relying on tithes, which clearly aren't working. In fact, what we probably should do now is go ahead and swap you over, seeing as you've got a working quarry to a tithe. I think that's a good idea. It's going to cost us 2,599 silver, but that's going to be, I mean, it's, it's our biggest settlement, so hopefully that will give us the most resources, and that will be funded by all the other wilderness guilds there. Hopefully that works. Doubter is pregnant. Again. Another one to replace the colonists that we lost. Thank you. Eventually, it's going to be nothing but fear, which I think was actually the name of the settlement last time we played on the community mod pack, was it not? I'm looking forward to when we get the psychopaths so we can butcher all these goddamn people. Oh, you're not supposed to bring over rotten ones. No, no, no rotten corpses here. Get that weak shit out of here. We can't feed that to my spiders. So how's he doing? I did set him to recruit, didn't I? Oh, no. Yeah, I did. Okay, we're good. Um... 86% difficulty, 25% recruit chance. My man's got a luxurious barracks. Bear in mind, it's just him living here. This is this this place is the life of luxury right now. So, hey, fingers crossed to be all right with it. Hopefully, he'll um, be in a better mood soon when he's not almost dead. Speaking of almost dead, how's Payne doing? Um, yeah, there we go. We're as good as new. He needs a new ear. He needs a new finger. But other than that, he's good. And you are almost fully healed. Everyone's almost fully healed. How long until the... Um, Oh, the murder modifier's gone as well. Oh, no, wait, it's not. Someone was organ murdered. 1.3 days. Then everyone's mood is going to be better. Not only that, we'll hopefully have our... Um, wait, don't tell me. I've forgotten. I was, I was going to say that we'll hopefully have something else, but I've completely forgotten what it was now. So it doesn't matter. I'm sure it wasn't too important. Hey, I've remembered. Um, hopefully we'll have our tomb build and we can also get Biggest Dickus buried. Speaking of which, we can actually now get Biggest Dickus buried. And then that will keep everyone a little bit happier because obviously we're not... We haven't got dead colonists just lying around in our giant spider freezer. Um, where is biggest? Can we get you a hold urgently? Oh, does this count as critical? Okay, let's drop that down to important then, just in case we get a situation like this. Alternatively, I could go to corpses and not allow colonist corpses. That would also work fine. Um, no colonist corpses in there. There we go. We should be able to haul her out now. Perfect. All right. Let's get her buried. She deserves a funeral, especially with a name like that. Helotos is doing it. Helotos, who almost died, comrades in arms, carrying the body of... Bigger stickers through the forest of spiders and dead orcs to a final resting point. The silver sarcophagus. To be fair, given that we are not doing so well for silver right now. Obviously, we've had to invest into our settlements there. That's a big honor. She got she, she ended up with a big honor there. Oh, something else I tried to do, which uh, did not work at all, is I tried removing the gas tanks. Because remember, it, it, despite the fact it says it's outputting 3,000 milliliters of gas, and we've only got two gas-powered generators running, it kept saying that there wasn't enough gas to power either of these generators. So I tried removing the tanks and, and hooking this up directly to it. I thought maybe the inefficiency of the tanks was causing that. But when I tried it, we apparently couldn't connect it straight up to it. So I removed the cable and tried to put direct lines just in case corners, for whatever reason, changed it. Uh, it turns out we don't even have enough steel to build um, seven bits of pipe. So those are now completely offline. In fact, we can't even use the deep drill, can we? We can't deep drill because we don't have any steel to build any freaking deep drills out of. What about all those plate armor we've got? I should move some people onto refining then. Oh, that's the only way. It's so sad, but that's the only way we can get enough resources now. By having our people refining the plate armor of our fallen enemies. Although that is kind of cool. Yeah, that's a real shame. Look at that. You can't directly pipe the gas pump into the gas generator. They have to go via... A oh, that's a shame. Um, <laughs> well, that was a waste of... But look, they've clearly got the gas. I have no clue. What, do you need to run it? He said, do we need to run it, like, under the generator, perhaps? But no, not at all. Okay, um, so I guess we do need to run it with that. That's a, that's, that is a bit of a shame, but that's all right. Um, I guess instead we just put a... Instead of running it through two canisters, which is the way we were doing it before, we just run it through one. And, and this steel is, is what we've got from smelting down our armor, too, if you're curious where that came from. 
Um, so we'll swap it around to that instead. But that's going to take a long time to get 100 steel at the current rate we're doing it. A trader? At long last, the game gives us a trader. And what have they got? Textiles. Look, it's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. Let's see what they've got. We, we might be able to trade this up. We might be able to even trade for profit. God forbid. Um, textiles trader. Buy an advanced components. That's some textiles trader. Uh... Right, well, let's sell off some of this spare crap that we don't want. Obviously, we're not going to need Hyperweave after a while, but look at how much this market value is. $9 a piece, and we pay it for... We got 23% bonus. Um, selling at Merciless is apparently 0 0.8, and then obviously selling 0 0.6 as well. To be honest, we can still sell it for a great price. I'm not doing the maths off the top of my head, but it's it's a pretty decent amount. Wait, I'm buying that. No, I don't want to buy it. I want to sell. I want to sell all this spare crap that we've got, mainly because we don't really need it. It's a lot of room. Like, do we really need 1,234 lizard skin? All it's there is is to basically train up our crappy little goblin um, crafter right now. Or more importantly, look at the profit we've made though from all of this crap. This is this is making us a fortune. Now I'm going to keep the steel plate armor for obvious reasons. In fact, there's another reason I want to check this is. Do they have anything we could smelt down? Um, the answer is no. <laughs> the answer is absolutely not. We've already got everything. What the hell is a droid chem fuel generate about of utility? Oh, sorry, infinity. Um, faster work speed. Oh, but it's only available for androids, right? That's a shame. I thought droid was like uh, like another enchantment. 2,700 silver. Do we need the silver? No. Do we need 1,200 li lizard skin? Absolutely not. So with that, we can obviously invest back into our settlements. I might even go ahead and upgrade the settlements, like I said a bit earlier. So wait for them to get that together. Who's got heat stroke? Quarantine has heat stroke. How? Oh, it's 50 fucking degrees in there. How? 50 degrees? Why is it 50 degrees in there? Well, that's strange. Uh, we got a heat wave. We haven't got a heat wave. Is it because he's been working at the... To be fair, I did force him to make steel a very long time ago. So he's been here for a very, very long time. I'm not entirely sure why that room's so warm. Is it because we've just had the the smeltery on for that long? I had no idea they churned out heat like that. Oh, for God's sake. Our ground runners are dying of, of toxic buildup because they decided to sleep next to the nuclear reactor. Not outside. Not an animal sleeping spot. No, right next to the nuclear reactor. Luckily, I made a... Uh, an area where they were allowed because they were not getting off the fucking farm. So as you can see, I made an appropriately named, uh, <laughs> I made an appropriately named thing for them there. Area. That's the word. Sorry, it's very late. Okay. Um, get out of here. <laughs> get out of here, you little goddamn shit. Oh, that, this one actually might die. I'm gonna have to wait some moment to come and haul it. Get this. No, 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 no. I need to get this ground runner out of here. I think we'll leave that one here for today, mainly because... A lot of it right now is tidying up and, of course, waiting for <laughs> waiting for some steel. I, I'm, I'm really sensing a theme here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and find that mod that basically allows us to draw down onto different layers. Just A, because I think it'd be cool. Um, but B, it'll actually solve the big problem that we've got in that we're stuck. We're completely stuck and the only option is to strip mine. And I don't want to do it because every time we strip mine, we end up getting massive infestations that slow the game down, take a long time to deal with. And we've just dealt with that issue. And I feel like it's a, it's a real shame if right now our only option... I mean, imagine if we weren't playing on a mountain map. We wouldn't even have that option. And I don't really know any other ways to get resources sort of going out into the world. Setting up caravans. Trying to find steel that way. Mining and bringing it back via caravans. But of course, that also leaves us vulnerable to massive raids. Even if we sent out three of these people, that could have been the difference between life and death when it came to that massive alt raid. We never know when we're going to get hit by another 120 people. So, we're in a very precarious place place in terms of the, the, the very much the fragile nature of our colony right now i don't think we can afford to risk it for a small amount of steel so hopefully with our next tithe that we get from our main settlement it will be a good amount of steel and again we've removed the bees as well which were causing a massive issue hopefully between all of those things we should be good starting tomorrow to carry on with forward progress They've smithed a lot of uh, they've, they've smithed a lot of crap, you know, melted down a load of armor. That's kept us afloat this episode, but this needs to stop because it's just repeatedly, we need more steel. We need more steel. Today, we need more steel, and I, I can't handle it anymore. So thank you to the Insane Top Tier Level patrons for making this series possible in the first place. A big thank you goes out to Ben Hofflin, Director Fritz, Jonah Waters, DKO, Tyler McClam, Lucas Grimwolf, Tom Terror 18, Vacuous Backers, Kaden Carter, Ninja Tree B, Michael Mullen, Zetlock, James Shea, and everyone else at the Insane Tier Levels on Patreon for keeping the channel going, especially during this lockdown period, especially while I'm also dealing with a lot of shit, um, <laughs> such as 
finding a house to live in within a month. So that's pretty fun. Thank you all for keeping the channel going during this time, and uh, we will hopefully get back up on our feet very soon. And thank you very much to Choma, Hupalia, Don, Vanilla Gorilla, Organized Confusion, Gaz, Hey I'm Alex, Peanut Gorilla, Shittledar, RKL, Joseph here, Trash Bin, Mythomatic, Sweetie, Demon, Justin Rawls, and everyone else at Patreon as well for keeping the channel going. Again, it's, it's much appreciated, so thank you all. See you all tomorrow for some more Rimwood. I think tomorrow, tomorrow we should be able to do that.